Hey, how's everything going? I was oh. going well. How you doing? Here, let me go. Good, thanks. Hey, w- w- what is it about uh, your relationship with Chris Kosarek that uh, you know that is uh, mutual beneficial to both of you guys? I uh, mean, he just he kind of been with me since I was a pup, you know, and I was on practice squad and and working my way through the league. You know, he was there for me, and he uh, he's been coaching me up for a long time. So just uh, I guess we're comfortable with each other. Hey, Kerry, Nick Wagner from ESPN here. Obviously, you, you're you're new here, uh, but this is a team that has put a lot of resources into the defensive line uh, over the last few years. What is the, the general feel when you join a group like this, and how aware of you uh, were, were you of their success last year? Oh, man, whenever I watched them on TV, man, it was just a sight to see. You know, uh, when you get around a group like this, you just you try to figure out what you can add to the group. You know, you just want to play off those guys and, you know, just try to be – a sponge and soak up, you know, the game that they have. And also that way you can be, you know, you can be a great part of the group also. Kerry, are, are there any guys that have really stood out to you where you didn't realize uh, from watching TV, just the talents they have? Um, I, mean, I think it's real, pretty well documented. Like the whole D-line as a group, you know, they're, they're just a, a great, great group of guys. You know, they get, pretty much got all the tools, fast, big, long, you know, those are, He's a premier D lineman, so I'm just I'm just glad to be a part of the group. Hey, Carrie, my name is Tracy Sandler. Uh, getting out there, your second day in pads. I know it was pretty hot out there, but can you just talk about what it was like to be back on the field and, and playing some sort of football? You know, it's always a good feeling. You know, this is what we it's what we get paid to do, man. This is what we've been doing our whole life. So, you know, after a long, you know, being locked in the house and stuff, and be out there with your teammates and being pads is always. You know, it's hot, but it's definitely a, just a great feeling to, to feel the environment. Uh, hi, Kerry. Uh, I know that you have a reputation for being able to play across the whole line. You, you did that with Dallas last year. I'm wondering if you could kind of summarize or take me back through your development as a defensive lineman. Did, did you start on the inside? Did you start on the outside? And how did you develop uh, the ability to play across all those spots? Well, yeah, in college, I was mainly a three technique, and I came into the NFL as an a, a interior defensive lineman. But um, after being with Chris a while, he, he suggested that I move to defensive end, and I was able to go outside and make some plays out there. So um, I've always considered myself a defensive lineman, not an inside-outside guy. You know, I just try to get in where I fit in and, you know, adding versatility to a group is just, you know, kind of what I've been able to do. Hey, uh, Kerry, this is Eric Branch, and I see you in person. Um, how are these last, uh, you know, I guess the first four practices gone for you, and where do you feel as far as, you know, getting whatever rust off uh, and all that? I feel pretty good, you know. It's um, when you're in training camp, man. It's all about getting a little bit better each day, you know. Trying to find something that you didn't do well on the day before, and just trying to be, you know, good on that the next day. Like, no day is gonna be perfect, but you know, the goal is just to be a little bit better the next day. We'll do one more for Kerry. Kerry, you mentioned your relationship with with Kasurik. How do you uh, how do you learn to deal with? Uh, all the yelling and and how do you maintain faith that it's coming from a place of love? Well, you know, he's the same person every single day. You know, he's going to give you 110% and uh, he's always showing me that that he just wants the best for you. So you got to be able to take coaching. You got to be able to um, understand he just wants the best for you and the best for the team.